My name is Julius Chitany. Uh, I'm a paleo artist here in Canada. And uh, my background is in science. I was trained as a, an ecologist in biological sciences as well as microbiology. Uh, uh, but as a, I'm a full-time scientific illustrator. And so I work with many different organizations to create uh, reconstructions of all kinds of biologically themed subjects. But a lot of my work focuses on reconstructions of prehistoric animals and plants and their environments. And uh, this is something that, that has always fascinated me because um, I think what, what really gets me going about it is that uh, it stems from the same reason that I got into science in the first place. Uh, it's it's this, this, the thrill of discovery of something that you, know, you can't just go out there and see for ourselves walking around in the world. Uh, it's putting together worlds, entire worlds that, that were different from what we experience today. And so dinosaurs are part of these fascinating, completely lost ecosystems that we can't see anymore. And so it requires those of us who have some training in uh, scientific illustration and in science, or to be able to bridge the two, to be able to sort of reconstruct these worlds and to endeavor to kind of show a bit of a portal into those worlds. Um, and uh, I find that extremely fun. This, the sense of discovery and to be part of the process of discovering new species uh, with paleontologists right at the forefront and helping them to sort of disseminate this information to the public and to the rest of the world, either through uh, press release images uh, or figures in papers, sometimes journal covers, uh, books, museum exhibits, and coins as well. So it's, it's, it's really fun for me. And this is for me a dream job really right from the get-go, from the pulling out of the material from the, the ground, uh, right up to, to the very end of this uh, process of scientific uh, analysis and, and reporting, there are elements of, of excitement all the way through. And for me, I feel very lucky because I get to come into the process at the end and basically kind of like skim the cream of the excitement off when everything has already been done, all this years sometimes or months of work preparing the fossil, um, I get to see the final uh, result of all that and then get to, you know, contribute by producing a reconstruction of it. And so for me, it's, it's very exciting and, and I feel very lucky to be involved this way. The, the coin is, is two-toned and I, I love this, this type of, these types of coins where, where they use plating of a different kind of metal. Um, I, as, as a sort of a science buff anyway, I, I, I'm very fascinated by different kinds of metals. And I think that it's really cool when you can find a type of an unusual metal with like rhodium, which is what they plated this coin with. And, and it's a blackish, dark colored uh, metal. And, and it's a beautiful coin, uh, kind of a metal if you've ever seen it. Uh, and, and so I, I love the fact that they've incorporated that into the background behind the dinosaur and that the dinosaur is beautifully um, buffed up sort of in a, in a, a, a bright silver uh, with this beautiful rhodium color in the background. And so you get ideas about the color that the dinosaur could have been, uh, as well as the, the display of, of fascinating metals in the coin, and it comes together, I think, in a kind of 